This is delicious! Yes! Yes! Screw you guys! I'm going home! Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Cerberus, and this was created by Cinematronics in 1985. This was suggested by YouTube user Alan McClelland. And this, I'm again, I'm not sure if this was a prototype or a regular release. Um, I'm guessing maybe it was a regular release. Uh, the controls in this game are uh, you have a dial controller. You know, it's a it's a knob that you can twist to the left or right, and this rotates uh, the direction of your ship. And then there's a thrust button and a fire button. And this game is a ripoff of, get this, an earlier game called Ripoff. <laughs> and uh, what you do in this game is you protect what are called pods from uh, certain enemies that try out try to steal them. Not all the enemies will try to steal them and, and dig that uh, Atari font there. Uh, fly solo or plan your strategy with a friend. Yeah, you can play one player or two player simultaneous play. And you can team up to uh, try to prevent those pods from being stolen. And those pods are diamonds. And what you try to do is, first of all, now this is kind of cool, you can collect them one at a time, only one at a time, and uh, attach them to the arms of this little fortress or whatever it is that uh, that is in the center of the screen. Once they are attached, the enemies cannot steal them. It's your uh, space station. Yeah, the uh, the diamonds are called fuel pods, and there's various enemies uh, that will try to shoot at you. And those enemies, those particular enemies, keep in mind what they look like. Those are the ones that will try to steal the pods. And if they fly off the screen, then you're not getting that pod back. And when all the pods are stolen, your game will end. You have infinite lives, so you can keep getting shot by the enemies and just keep regenerating. But yeah, you want to uh, deposit the pods onto the arms of that space station they will be secure and the enemies cannot steal them once they're on that arm and that uh, enemy is called the destroyer and it bobs up and down in a really tough pattern to uh, lock onto one thing the game does not tell you is on the surface of this moon that you keep flying over there will be some areas that have a little force field and it can zap you and destroy you and, you know which you have to wait for your next ship to appear on the left side of the screen but uh, keep in mind that can destroy you not just the enemy fire I, I'm not a fan of this game like I said it's a, a ripoff of the game ripoff from also cinema excuse me, also from Cinematronics from 1980. That was uh, Tim Skelly. And uh, I do like that you can deposit the uh, the pods onto the arms and keep the enemies from uh, stealing them. But it, it still needed something more. I mean, this is 1985 and Ripoff was an old vector game. Uh, it kind of maybe could you could have used power ups or something. Uh, you can use a smart bomb every once in a while to destroy all the enemies on screen at once. Oops. 
uh, I don't think you get a special bonus for for uh, keeping all the the pods or uh, not letting the enemy get away with any pods on the first level. You do get a bonus for uh, the levels that all the levels that you have previously beaten 100 points apiece. So say if you beat level 10, you'll get a 900 point bonus. Yeah, and you just saw that flash on the ground there. That is that uh, force field or whatever that is. If you're uh, right in that area when the force field goes off, you will uh, get blown up. Ah, crap. The best way to get points in this game is to uh, is to secure the pods onto those uh, uh, arms, the space station arms, and then just sit there and pick off as many ships as you can for points. The uh, destroyer, which has that big old uh, up and down, whoop! See, I lost a, a ship right there. The uh, big old up and down bobbing motion by the destroyer, uh, it's hard to uh, lock onto him, but he is worth 1,000 points. I don't know the uh, exact value for the other ships, but definitely keep in mind what the uh, the ship that will steal your pods looks like. Yeah, I'd never heard of this game before. Definitely never heard of it, never seen it. Um... It is not all that great. This runs on uh, what's called Cinemat hardware. And I guess this was the first one released on Cinemat hardware. I don't know what all other games were on Cinemat hardware. But uh, to start out, you have eight pods that you want to protect. And you can get one extra pod at 50,000 points. Possibly every 50,000 points. I really don't know. I never made it that far. But yeah, that's the goal. Just collect those pods and return them to the arms of your space station. And once they're there, the enemies cannot, uh, cannot steal them. And I, yeah, I don't know the name for that particular type of enemy that will steal the pods, but just notice it by the way it looks. And remember that you need to keep it from stealing those pods. I hope you uh, enjoy Mother's Day tomorrow. Uh, we get, uh, we get all kinds of uh, federal holidays at the uh, at the uh, VA hospital where I work off Mother's Day isn't one of them but uh, uh, Memorial Day is the, the last Monday of this month which will be the uh, 31st I believe yeah note that when you get zapped when your space station gets zapped by the enemy on the ground it scatters the uh, pods, so they're uh, a little tougher than you might think to to go and fetch and return to the arms of your space station. But once you uh, once you bring them to the arms of the space station, then you can just sit there and start picking off enemies. And once the screen is clear of enemies after you've attached those those pods then uh, you'll go to the next uh, the next level I really I really don't know for sure if this is a prototype or an actual release I've never seen anything that actually said prototype so I don't know but there I got my extra pod at 50,000 points. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, you can uh, you can get destroyed real quick right when you uh, 
appear on the screen. The enemies can shoot you or you can run into an enemy. Sometimes it's a good idea to run into an enemy like the uh, one that steals those pods. Slam into him and keep him from uh, stealing them. But yeah, you have a dial controller to rotate the direction of your ship. And you have a thrust and fire button. And yeah, I really think that you should be allowed to have like a, a smart bomb of some sort to add a, a little bit of variety to the game. And you could blow up all enemies on the screen at once. But alas, this game doesn't have much in terms of uh, interesting gameplay. Like I said, it's a... It's a ripoff of Cinematronic's own ripoff from 1980, which Tim Skelly created, and it was a black and white vector game. It was very similar to this. You had various pods that you had to protect. Uh, note in this game, maybe I didn't mention that you cannot fly off screen and warp over to the uh, the other side. You can't do that in this game. And note that I've lost all my pods, so all I can do is just sit there and start picking off enemies until they stop appearing, and my game will end. Well, that is Cerberus by Cinematronics in 1985. And again, it ran on the Cinemat hardware. I don't... I can't tell you what all other games ran on Cinemat hardware. But you got to protect up to eight pods surrounding your fortress... They scatter once the fortress gets shot, and you gotta go collect them and bring them to the arms of the uh, space station. And once they're in an arm, they cannot be stolen by the enemy. You have infinite lives, so uh, just keep doing all you can to protect those pods. Well, this was suggested by YouTube user Alan McClelland, and I've got a whole bunch of other possible prototypes to uh, look at. <laughs> There's that uh, Atari uh, font again. Well, that was uh, Cerberus by Cinematronics in 1985. Kind of crappy game. Uh, like I said, a ripoff of ripoff. Well, uh, this is Crazy Climber Ace, and thanks for watching. Hope you join me for my next video. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Bye-bye.